Alright, so now in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, this voltage boost module. I haven't uh, used it for anything yet, but uh, we take a voltage in on this side. We're going to get the voltage from this uh, power supply here, and it outputs a higher voltage. So to begin with, we're going to start with, see if I can get that focus there, with uh, 5 volts there. And then we're going to do 9 volts coming up. But let's uh, get this plugged in. And so the other end is this barrel plug. The last video I made, I uh, wired this up. This is a female side of the barrel plug. And you can just put wires in and uh, screw them down. I just kind of clamped that down with my fingers. Put a temporary attachment there. And there we go. Let's turn the multimeter on and get a voltage measurement coming in we had it 5 volts on the power supply and there we got 5 volts and we come over here and we can see we got slightly more than uh, 20 volts and this is adjustable so we can power it with up to uh, 30 volts and we can output up to 35 volts the voltage coming in has to be higher than the voltage going out. It's uh, boosting it. So right now we got uh, 5 volts and we got 20. We can adjust that. So it's recommended you use at least 5 volts, but it will work uh, down to 3 volts, I believe, according to uh, the documentation. When I turn it counterclockwise, you can see that the voltage goes up, so it's adjustable. When I turn it clockwise, counterclockwise was up. Clockwise, the voltage goes down. So let's go back to 20 volts because that's really easy to remember. Get it as close to uh, 20 volts as possible, slightly lower. Go up here. Okay, so that's close enough, 20, 19.98. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to unplug this and change it from 5 volts to uh, 9 volts. There we go, 9 volts. And that's where I like to keep it. At anyways the 9 volts that's why I did make sure to do the 5 volts first because I power other stuff with it and I always think that it is 9 volts so it's best to always just make sure I get it back to 9 volts so there you can see we got 9 volts and out here we still have the uh, 20 volts so it was 19.98 now it's 20 so it's uh Pretty much we can consider that exactly the same for the most part so that's the nice thing about this module it ups the voltage and it looks like it holds the voltage whatever you set it at even with a varying input voltage 